Zoom a little zoom in a rocket The space race. The private space race is booming. X Prize, Tron Guy. If you have the money to tour, or even mine asteroids, strong winds and following seas to ya. And while you hear a lot about the private industry, and you certainly hear a lot about NASA, there's a lot going on out there that you usually don't hear about. Currently, Nine governmental agencies around the world have reported annual budgets of over a billion dollars for space activity and exploration. Another 10 countries have space budgets of over 100 million. Though, granted, many of the agencies allot portions of their budgets to military operations and other sinister activity like satellite spying. There's a lot of goodwill research going on out there to help further our understanding of the great wild beyond. In terms of human flight, with no shuttle, until NASA's Orion craft enters into service many years from now, or until one of the many private endeavors in the works succeeds, America is out of order on the human spaceflight front. Only two countries have active, successful human flight programs at the moment. Russia, with its Soyuz program, and China, with its Shenzhou program. Getting closer, in 2010, the Iranian Space Agency launched an Explorer 3 rocket into suborbital space with a rodent, a handful of worms, and two turtles, all returning to Earth alive. I like turtles. In 2011, Iran launched an Explorer 4 rocket designed to carry a monkey, though decided against including any biological life on that trip. Nevertheless, the country is on a mission to have a human in space by 2016. <sighs> human flight capability not required. Large and small, many of the world's space agencies are making awesome contributions. In Africa, the South African National Space Agency recently put out a call on Facebook and Twitter for any local citizens to have a say in the drafting of its national space program. South Africa is responsible for the 10 meter in diameter SALT telescope, which is the largest single optical telescope in the southern hemisphere and helps to assist researchers from all over the world. In Japan, the country's aerospace exploration agency JAXA's Team Maxi, monitor of all-sky x-ray image, contributed to capturing the mother of all-sky x-ray images the moment a massive black hole swallowed a star. And like the old woman who swallowed a fly, I don't know why the hole swallowed the sky, but I'm pretty sure we're all gonna die. In India, the active Indian Space Research Organization is in a race with NASA to be the first to put an x-ray telescope into space, and it looks like India may win by two years and on a fraction of the budget. X-ray telescopes will help us to learn a lot about black holes and the matter that surrounds them. I guess you guys can see where I'm going here. Space flight into black holes. It may sound like a dream, but I plan to sail there like a ship on the great open sea. And then I want to go to Chicago.